about to finish the correction to the Wadawi plans. Carl can take care of that. You need to get out of here. Carl has his hands full with the Cedar Town job. Randy, I promise the place won't fall apart while you're gone, and your wife is still holding on line too. Okay, put her through. Hello? Don't tell me you're still at the office. All right, I won't tell you. Dang it, Randy, you promised you'd help me pack the van. And we're supposed to pick up Zach and Tucker from school at 11. I, I know, I'm wrapping it up. You also promised you weren't gonna go into work today. That's what this trip is all about. Okay, I'm leaving now. Fine, bye. Cleo, cut it out. Come on. There he is. Hey, buddy. Hey, how you doing? Want to go to the beach? Yeah, I'm going to see a shark. A shark, huh? Mm. Big Joe Simpkins, fearless shark hunter. <laughs> okay, I'm a great white. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. Arr, arr. Oh, you got a 25 footer. Good job, buddy. Good job. Give me five. Big shark <laughs> Sorry, okay? This vacation's supposed to be a chance for you to spend some time with your family for a change. You're not getting off to a very good start. We haven't left yet. Okay, okay you're right. I thought you were going to take that dog to the pound for Carl. Well, I was. I just haven't had time. Well, if he stays here any longer, Joe's never going to let you take him. And we don't need another dog. Okay, tell Soggy. Got it. I got a bird. No. I got a bird. No. Joe, you're staying right here. We're just about to leave. This is what I've been dealing with all morning. It's got to be the tenth time he's told me he's going to Pawpaw's. Hey, buddy, you can't go to Pawpaw's right now, okay? Because Pawpaw's out working. There's some bags inside the door that need to be loaded. I'm going to start closing up the house. Okay. You should go ahead and buckle him up in the van. All right. Come on, buddy. You heard your mama. Let's get in the van. All right, right. <laughs> All right, well, you're going to be cooped up in here for a long time, so go ahead. But stay right here, okay? Okay. Okay, Daddy. Hey, buddy, you got a license to drive that thing? <laughs> hey, you are a crazy driver. Shutting down the computer. No, you're not. You're checking your work email. Uh, let's not get into this again. Okay. I need to go to the bathroom. I'll meet you out there.
Joe. Joe. with you? No? You didn't put him in the van? Uh, he was just out here riding his trike a minute ago. Well, he probably headed for your parents. Never done that before. Well, how would you know? He followed Zach and Tucker there just last week. Joe! Joe! I I'll check around here. Why don't you check the trail to Pawpaw's? Okay. Joseph Simpkins! You better get in this van Is there a problem? Well, we were just about to pull out and he disappeared. He's been telling me all day he wants to go to Paul Paul's. So I figure he headed your way. No, I, I'm looking out the back, but all I see is Randy. All right, well, just keep an eye out for him. I'm gonna keep looking around here. Okay. I just told Crystal I haven't seen him. I'll check around the house. I just hope he's okay. Sure he is, Mama. Probably show up any minute. I'm gonna go check Sweetgrass. Okay. Joe, if you're hiding from me, you better come out now or you'll get the whooping you'll never forget. I checked the pond behind Mom and Dad's. I checked the entire sweetgrass yard. I, I don't understand it. He could not have gone that far. Well, he's probably just hiding from us, thinking this is a game. That doesn't make any sense. He knew we were about to leave. Honey, he's two years old. He doesn't do anything that makes sense. I guess I'll go check with the neighbors, see if he went visiting. I don't know where else to check right now. <laughs> May I turn the house upside down? Yeah, I'll keep checking the fields.
something wrong? No, we can't find Joe. We were just about to leave for vacation and he's just vanished. Well, I haven't seen him. Well, I was thinking about your pool and how he always wants to come swimming. Oh, goodness. We don't have the cover on it. Okay. I'm gonna continue up the street and check to see if anybody else has seen him, will you? You keep an eye out? My older boy's home. We'll, we'll look around. Oh, I don't want to be a bother. Oh, don't be silly. He's your son. We need to find him. Okay, thank you. Go! Go! with most of the neighbors and those who are out are looking for him. I'll call Larry. He's with a crew in Cedartown, but he'll want to know what's happening. Well, I'm gonna go by Miss Grace's place and then head home. Lord, I just hope that little boy's okay. You better pray I don't wring his neck when we find him. son is missing. What is your name, sir? Uh, Randy Simpkins. I'm his father. Are you currently at your residence on 150 Goldust Trail? Yes. What is the name and age of your child? Uh, he's a two-year-old boy. Uh, his name is Joe. He was playing on our driveway, and then he just, he vanished. And how long has he been missing? Uh, I, may, I guess uh, 30 minutes, maybe 45 minutes. Uh, we, we've searched everywhere, inside the house, outside the house, the sir, whole area. Uh, we haven't... I've already dispatched a deputy They'll be here soon? Yes, sir. They're on their way. Thank you. Thank you very much. Give me a little close to the phone line. Randy's boy Joe is going to miss him back at his place. I'm going to head home to help look. You want us to come with you? I appreciate it, but this job has a tight deadline. You sure? Now we can just start extra early in the morning. They'll probably find me before I even get there. You boys better keep at it. Sorry I have to leave you like this. Good luck, boss. Hey, man, let's get back to work. How long has it been, sir? This is my wife, Crystal. Oh, hi, I'm Sergeant Bird Smith. Hi. I understand your boy's missing. That's right. Where did you last see him? Well, I already told you. I need to hear it from her, sir. Or do you mind, Mr. Mm -hmm. When did you last see him? Uh, sir. What was he doing? I apologize, but uh, uh, what did you say your name was again? Division Chief Benefit. Carroll County Fire Rescue. But you can call me Bud. Oh, okay, Bud, but why is he questioning my wife like that? I already gave him all the same info. Nothing to worry about. Just want to maybe see if she remembers anything that you might have missed. Might have ever look inside? No, of course not. Now you've uh, checked the house thoroughly? Several times. Right. Was your son in trouble? Had you had an argument with him or anything like that? No, no, he was excited to go on the trip. I mean, no reason for him to be afraid. I mean, he wasn't being punished or anything. No, sir, no. Excuse me. <clears throat> Thank you. Well, everything seems to check out to me. Stories match. A nice home, well maintained, van loaded for vacation, just like they said. And they're not uh, frequent flyers with your department or anything like that? Oh, no. Not this first time I've mm -hmm. been here. The fact is, uh, I understand the sheriff knows the family. I mean, it's going to be a bear of a search. There's a lot of woods and brush out here. 
And it's gonna take a lot of manpower. Yeah. I guess we better get to it. Is there something wrong? Yeah. Are we suspects or something? No, ma'am, not at all. We just have to be certain that before we call the cavalry that we um, um, understand the situation. You, you mean if we're telling the truth? But not every call we get is what it appears to be, especially when children are involved. Hope you understand. Yeah, we, we do understand. Have you uh, seen any unusual vehicles in the area lately or any strangers? You don't think somebody grabbed him, do you? No, I doubt it. You're pretty isolated out here and all. Be hard for someone to do it and not be seen. But it has happened. Anyone you know holding a grudge against you? A disgruntled employee or a family member? No, 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 no I can think of. Sergeant Smith and I are going to step outside and make some calls for additional manpower and resources. Okay, once they're on their way, I need to go over more details with the two of you. If you have a recent photo of your son, it'd be guilt. Yeah, sure. I'd like for the two of you to show me on a map where you've looked and where you think you might have gone. Okay. All right? Oh, and uh, look, don't worry too much. He'll probably come wandering up any minute. But if he doesn't, we're going to have a lot of people here looking for him really soon. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. Hello? Hello, Pastor Jerry. This is Mary Simpkins. Hello, Mary. What can I do for you? Well, my grandson, Joe, Randy and Crystal's baby boy, has disappeared. We're looking all over for him. The police are hearing everything. Oh, my goodness, Mary. You don't think that someone took off with him, do you? I don't know. I think he just wandered off. There's so many lakes and ponds around here and lots of woods. And he's never just walked off like this before, so... I understand. It's okay, Mary. Well, I was hoping that we might get a prayer chain started. I think that'd be a good idea. I was making some calls, but oh, there's a lot of names and I... I'll get some help. Uh, do they need anyone to help search? I think so. We'll get some volunteers, too. <gasps> Thank you. Mary, it's gonna be okay. God will be right here. And remember, he's with Joe, too. All units should bring ATVs if available. Dispatch is clear, 803. 803 is Gold Dust Command. Randy? Randy, hang on. Hey, I need you over here for a minute. Okay. <sighs> yeah. Look, I, uh, I need you to stay here for right now. Why? Uh, I'm just standing around. Look, I should be out looking for my son. I understand, but we, we have a lot of professional searchers headed our way, and we've got to have a game plan when they get here. Plus, I need you here to help me paint a picture of this area so we can get them in the field as quickly as possible. Okay, well, I could have been doing that the last 15 minutes. If you had, then they wouldn't be on their way right now. Plus, I had to call the State Emergency Management Office to request the resources they're going to take the longest to get, like a helicopter, so we could have it here when they'll do us some good. How's it going? DNR says they can have one in 45, but their chopper's not Fleur equipped. Now, our state patrol friend over there says he's got one that's Fleur equipped, Fleur? but it doesn't have an ETA. It's, it's a forward looking infrared camera. It uh, can detect objects like a heated body through the trees. Well, that's not going to be much good on a hot day like this. Well, maybe not, but if we get into the night, it will. Plus, with all the foliage out here, it's going to be hard for a chopper to have any kind of vision anyway. It's better than not having one. But, chopper will be on site in an hour. Tell them to head this way. Okay. What about the canine unit? Well, they're working on drug interdiction up in Merriweather. Uh, ETA is about an hour. Well, we can't wait that long to get the search teams in the field. What, what, what's the problem? <sighs> Normally, you want the dogs to get into the field first. But once the search teams get out there, they, um, they can confuse the scent. It's better late than ever. Let's just get them here, Man. all right? Randy. Yes? Show me where you've looked and what neighbors you've checked with. Okay. Is there a helicopter there yet? You can never tell with the state agencies how long it'll take to get one there, if at all. Tell Crystal I'll be there as soon as possible. Thank you, dear. Is everything okay? The two-year-old son of my dear friends, Randy and Crystal Simpkins, has disappeared. Oh, God, that's awful. It's going to be very difficult terrain to search. A helicopter's their best chance. You think the Atlanta news stations would send one of theirs? They won't unless they assign a reporter to cover the story. That would be the hard part, to convince them that this is a story they need to cover. 
We're just too far outside Atlanta to get much attention. Okay, and do you still have your contacts at Channel 6? I know you did some presidential debate analysis for them once. Yes. Yes, I, I, I'm sure I could get one of the producers on the phone. Okay, and we have interns at all the network affiliates. I can call one of them and see if they can put me in touch with their story assignment editor. Bless you, Teresa. If you get a reporter on the phone, transfer it to my office. And don't take no for an answer. Nope, don't worry, I won't. Okay. Okay, I'm on my way over. Thank you, Mary. Crystal Simpkins' little one has gone missing. There's a search on at their place. I'm going over to help. I want to go, too. Okay, lock the doors. We're closing up. Okay, I'm going we're going. I think you're the third person to do that. I was the first. Better safe than sorry. Does Joe like to hide? No, not unless he's playing hide-and-seek with his brothers and they weren't here. Any little hideaway places he likes to take naps? <laughs> and I checked them all, I mean, several times. It's... I've already answered all of these questions. Like, everybody's asked me the same things over and over again. I don't understand why y'all don't just get out there and find my son. I understand your frustration, Mrs. Simpkins. But right now, the more information we get, the better. Then maybe you'll think of something new after being asked a hundred times. Or maybe I'll hear something the other deputies didn't. Yeah, there's no need, Deputy. Our families go way back. Randy, Crystal. Guess you all figured my people needed something to do today, huh? I didn't. I guess my son did. Let's do what's missing. Let's go. That's right. Okay. Well, I'm gonna head on over, check what the plan is, and I'll come back and let you know what's what. Thanks, Tony. Yeah. We'll find it for you, Crystal. Don't you worry. Thank you. Deputy. All right, Deputy. Uh, how embarrassing. Our Christmas lights are still up. That's what you're worried about right now? No, that's not what I'm worried about right now. What I'm worried about is our son. Who would be here right now if you'd done what I asked? What are you talking about? I told you to put him in the van. But you don't ever do anything, I say. You like taking down the Christmas lights. Well, I'm sorry. Okay, somebody has to work around here. Don't even start. <sighs> that's just your excuse to get away from the really hard work around here. You think I don't work hard? That's all I ever do. So I can put food on the table, clothes on our kids, and a roof over our head. I know you work hard, just not at what really matters. Providing for my family is not what really matters. <laughs> do you think your boys are gonna thank you when they grow up for all the work you did? I'm gonna go find our son. Here's your little job. <laughs> <laughs> Smile. Okay, let's go through it again. Is there any way that he might have, I don't know, gone to visit some neighbor? Ma'am, I'm sorry. Can I help you? I'm a friend of the family. W what's your name? I'm Carol Fulton. Okay. Hang on just one second. Get, look, get them things. I'm, I'm Chris. <laughs> okay, just follow them up and they go back. Guys, can I have you? What's up, Devin? The man post over here. All right, Chief. Come on yes, in right here. Good. All right. Pop that trunk. Let's get this thing open. Hey there, Tony. Gary. Where we at? Well, I'm ready to get these boys in the field and find that kid. So let's do it. Oh, Lord, Crystal, 
come in. No, you're not. I lost my son. What kind of mother loses her son? It's not your fault. Children wander off all the time. But I can't... have sex time. But I can't find him, Carol. He's just vanished. What if I never see him again? I just don't think I can do this. Yes, you can. Because God is right here with you. And he is out there watching over little Joe. And he is going to bring him back home safe to you. Do you really think so? Yes, I do. If we ask for his help. Yeah, Let's please. do that right now, yeah. okay? Dear Lord, please be with little Joe wherever he is. <laughs> please be with these brave men who have come to help. And please be with Crystal and Randy right now. And bring them comfort and strength. We ask this in your name. Amen. Amen. Oh, thank you. You're right. He's here with us and with Joe. Of course he is. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Carol. You want the sound? Let's do it. All right, gather around, everyone. Come on in. Gather around. All right, listen up. We're ready to divide you into teams, get you into the field. The description of the boy you're searching for, Joseph Simpkins, is posted here. This man posted along with the current photo. Now, we have divided the search area into sections. Each team will be responsible for an assigned section. Our team leaders will check back here every 20 minutes with the PAR. Now, there's several lakes and ponds out there. And there's a manure pit here. Look for any signs of disturbance, footprints of the such, along the perimeter of any and every body of water, no matter how small. <laughs> Got that? Yes, sir. Tony? Well, most of y'all know each other. and know that our two departments have always worked well together. But today, we're one department. You got me? That said, it's possible we could find a crime scene out there today. I hope to God that doesn't happen, but if it does, first thing I want you to do is make certain that the boy yep. is, in fact, dead. Back away from the scene, cordon off the area, and report into us using police code only. Fire rescue is going to relinquish the scene, and the sheriff's department and the state patrol takes over. Any questions? No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Bud's going to give you your assignments. Good luck. Okay, guys. The sheriff already has a perimeter established with some of his deputies out there, okay? Joe? Joseph, can you hear me? Joe? Mary, he's still missing. I was headed down to the pits where we dumped the lake debris, then they're filled with water. I've been meaning to fill those things in and just hadn't had the time. Well, I've been making some calls. Lots of people have been coming by to help search, plus the sheriff's over at Randy and Crystal's. I'm gonna have a look around. If you see anything suspicious in those pits, I'll get the pump. I figured if you was gonna take the day off, then uh, we would too. I appreciate that, boys. I truly do. How can we help? Just spread out and start looking. Don't worry, we're gonna find them, all right, boss? Yeah, I want you to keep 
Okay, team three. I want you to head east on Gold Dust Trail, all right? I want you to clear every house up to this point here. Check crawl spaces, storage sheds, everything. Let me know when the area's been clear. Let's go. All right, I'm going to need three. Chief, chopper's on site. Survey for any areas of interest that might warrant investigation by a ground crew, okay? Canine teams arrive, but they say with everybody out here, they can't deploy. Told them to stand by, we'll just let them know if we find a fresh place to search that haven't been trampled. Whoa! You better listen to me. Listen, mister. Sergeant I... Bert Smith. Yeah, whatever. Look, I'm Randy's cousin. His mom called me to help look for little Joe. That is what I'm gonna do. Not untold you. Only search and rescue personnel allowed in the fields. Well, I don't see that many of them out there, frankly. And it seems to me that if you really want to find the boy, you'd accept any help you could. How do I know you related to the family, huh? That you just want to go out there and make matters worse? That get lost or hurt or trample over clues or who knows what else? The fact is, I got my orders, sir. And you ain't going anywhere except right back down that driveway. What I'm going to do is go through that gate. And if you don't like it, and you can shoot. Deputy Smith. Yeah. Yeah. Over here. Okay. The sheriff wants to worry with really. you. I'll tell him how you feel, and I'll see what I can do. But you've got to agree that you're going to stay right here while I do, okay? What's going on, Bert? Well, sir, we got a little trouble brewing. Now, we're getting flooded with folks that I don't even know want to help in the search. Now, we're trying to be polite, but ain't taking no for an answer. We already got some of them out there on their own. And I just got to report there's folks parking over at the Sweetgrass Farm and searching on their own. Oh, this could get out of hand real quick. The problem is we don't know who half them folks are. And every now and then you get some whacker showing up offering to search for a missing kid who doesn't have the purest of intentions. Well, if we don't let them help, things can get real ugly. We could spend just as much time on manpower trying to get them to stop searching. Man, Randy and Chris are going to wonder why we're turning away help. Well... It is their child, so I say we express our concerns to them and see what they think. It's probably our fault. My mother-in-law's been on the phone with her church and everyone else she knows. Believe me, that's a lot of people. That looks like they all showed up. What do you want us to do, Mrs. Simpkins? I think they're the answer to a lot of prayers. All right. Have your men bring them to the command post. We'll start a sign-up sheet for those who want to search. We'll integrate them with our men. That way we keep an eye on them. Deputy? Send somebody over to that farm and round up everybody over there who's searching on their own. Tell them if they want to search with us, they got to sign in here first. Yes, sir. Let's see if we can hit the top of the grain elevator. Yeah, you can, Joe. Go ahead. I can't. That, that was nothing. Watch this. This is ready. Mom went by the wheel. Uh, no, that bed went in on Thursday. Well, I know Daddy, it for a fact what? because I delivered it myself. Daddy, Joe, Joe, what? stop it, okay? I'm on the phone. What are we gonna do? All right, uh, you know what? I uh, 
I've got a copy in the office. Okay, give me a few minutes and I'll fax it over to you. Thanks for letting me know. You're a lifesaver. Sorry, guys. Uh, Joe, I'll come back and watch you in a minute. Let's go home. Sir, if you'd like to help with the search, I'm gonna need you to sign in at the command post. Hey, this is Joe's dad. You okay, Randy? Yeah. I'm sorry, I didn't know. No, no problem. I'm just, uh, I'm very thankful that you're all here. You're welcome to join us. No, no, sir. Um, I'm gonna head back to the house. You're sure. Let's continue our grid search. It'll be okay, Randy. We're here for you. And for Joe. Don't take my son. Please don't take my son. I know I haven't been there. I know I haven't spent enough time with him. Please give me another chance to be there. All right, Joe! Joseph gets dropped back. He throws. Touchdown. Number seven, Joe Simpkins breaks open for a first
Joe's alive. Just let me know. Give me some kind of a sign that my son is not dead. And the three-quarter box in. Terry. Thank you, Mama. Find everything okay? Yes, but I heard the worst thing while I was gone. Little Joe is missing over at the sweet farm. What was that, Mama? The youngest Simpkins boy is missing. They must have half the county over there looking for him. Uh, what was that about Joe? That's the boy's name, Joe Simpkins. Well, I guess we'd better get over there and find him. You sure, Daddy, you just had heart surgery two months ago? I'm well enough. All right. I'm just going. And I know you want to help. I do, too. But they've got plenty over there, believe me. Sheriff, fire, state patrol. I'm going to use a couple more. Make that three. All right. Yeah, it's low. Let me just take this form here. Crystal. Hi, I'm Joy from the church in Whitesburg. We've come to help find your boy. How did you even know? Well, your preacher called our preacher, and we decided to get a group up and come on over. Thank you. What can we do? What? Excuse me. Mama! Oh, you didn't have to. It was no problem at all. Believe it or not, they closed school early. Hmm. When Principal Ballard found out about Joe, he told us teachers he was headed here and invited us to come with him. And I knew you were going to be a little too busy to pick up your boys. Yes. Thank you so much. <laughs> is Joe okay? Oh, you know your brother. Little Joe is just playing a game of hide-and-seek with everyone. It's a very big game. Don't worry, we're going to find him. He's dead. Hey. Don't say that. Your brother is not dead. If so. It's not funny, okay? I don't want to hear you say such a thing. Oh, I did not realize there would be so much activity. So if you'd like, I'll take the boys to my place until things quiet down. That'd be wonderful. You sure you don't mind? Not at all. Okay, guys, you want to go to Miss Emma Joe's place for a little while? No, I want to stay with you. Does she have video games? Yeah, I do, for when my grandkids visit. All right! <laughs> Be cool and go take care of your brother, okay? I love you. And you too, you little knucklehead. <laughs> Come on. I'll call you as soon as I know something. Gold Dust Command, this is 401. Go ahead, 401. We've cleared all the houses here. Gold Dust Trail, awaiting further instructions. Roger, 401. Have your men head north across the street. Let's clear the uh, Pine Grove all the way up to the Ward property. Over. That's the last of the houses. Chopper's going to check the swamp to the west. Nothing yet. We got additional personnel on the way in. We're going to the full ATV. That'll help. Man, this is Thanks. Team 2. Uh, team 2, this is Gold Dust. Hold on a second. Yeah, this is Team 2. We have started testing. Hey, where you been? Out looking. Yeah, I understand what you're feeling, Randy, but I'm gonna need you here. Right. Got information that we might need. It could be crucial. Okay. You okay? Fine. Yeah. All right, listen to me. I'm gonna need you to buck up, son. Buck up? How do I do that, Tony? 
My head is filled with all these images. My son floating face down in a pond or suffocating at the bottom of a well, calling to me for help. I'm not there. I get it, Randy, I do. But if these people think you've given up, they might just do the same thing. They need you to be strong right now. Your son needs you to be strong. Do you hear me? Even if you gotta fake it, you gotta show that you got hope. I mean, hell, man, we still got several hours of good sunlight left, which means we got a good shot of finding your boy. I hear you talking. Thanks. Good man. Let's go. <laughs> your doctor would kill you if he saw you walking on that torn Achilles. How's she holding up? For yourself. <laughs> Thought she'd be a wreck. You coached her in softball. You know how tough she is. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here. Like I'm bringing good news. <laughs> We've got reporters from Channel Six and Eleven on their way here now, oh. and and they're bringing their helicopters. We're gonna be on the news. Well, it's a good thing. More eyes in the sky. Plus, we'll get the word out and more people will keep an eye open. I, I know you're right. It's wonderful. Thank you. Oh, I just feel like such a terrible mom. Oh, nothing could be further from the truth. And everybody here knows that. Thank you, really. There must be a couple of hundred people out here. Come on now, move along. There's all here. I'll see if there's anything I can do up at the house. Okay. Please be careful. Great. Sir, can we give you a hand? Sure, uh, just checking for signs a boy might have fallen in. Footprints, that kind of thing. How's it going so hey, far? I, I'm concerned that we haven't found him yet. When a child this age goes missing, the first three hours are crucial. The odds of finding him alive after that drop considerably. How many hours have you been missing? It's over four. I hate to say this, but uh, with all the ponds and streams and swamps and old wells we got around here, I got a bad feeling that uh, he's laying on the bottom of one of them. Mm. You holding up? I was just thinking about the coyote dance I spotted in the woods a couple weeks back. Rattlesnakes, cottonmouths, scorpions, everything else. I just think this place was so beautiful. God's country. Doesn't feel that way today. Hey, Taylor. How you doing, buddy? Did you get along with your dog? Yeah. Well, I was well with, I was with Cleo, our other dog. Well, not our other dog. It's a, I'm keeping her for a friend. I'm supposed to take her to the pound, but Joe and that dog get along so well, I don't think I'm going to be able to. Where's the dog now? I'm gonna think of it, I haven't seen the dog since Joe disappeared and she was with him right before he did. You think the dog is with him? It's a possibility. Command all units be advised the subject is last seen with a medium-sized black dog, Labrador mix. Answers to the name of Cleo. That's Charles Lincoln Edward Ocean. See the subject or the dog report to the command post immediately. Deputy, check with that dog's previous owner. Make sure he had him on around back. All right. Stay in This is your team leader. Watch your footing. We've got four or five groups already out there, and they're headed back up this way. We're going to start going from Oak Grove Road. We're going to clear all the way up to the area of the northwest. Right now, team searched that area a couple of hours ago. There's a thousand places for them to hide. Could have easily been missed. All right, report in every 20 minutes. Good luck. Oh, that was good. 
Hey, can we join you? Me and my daddy. Is he up to it? Oh yeah, he'll walk in the ground. Sure. Everybody let's spread out about five feet and start combing the area. Okay. Not yet, I'm afraid. I just want to let you know we have a huge prayer chain going for little Joe. I, I think every church in the state has one going. Well, that... That's just... Uh, Are you okay? I just don't think... Uh, oh, I guess my brain isn't functioning properly. You know, I, I read something recently about possums and the way they play dead when they feel threatened. Well, they don't really play dead at all. Little brains just freeze up with fear. They shut down. I think that's how I feel right now. Well, you just hang in there, Mary, and just try to feel all the love and support that's coming your way, okay? Thank you. Hey, okay. Professor, you went ahead and cleared out an area for your media vehicles. Oh, thank you, Sheriff. Um, I've got another question. I know some of your canine units are here. Uh, I'm told none of the dogs are in the field. Yes, sir, that's correct. Why is that? Well, it's not like you see in the movies, Chester. Police dogs aren't sent specific. They can't just pick up one person sent and track it in a crowd. And with all the searches we got in the field, it's just a waste of time to deploy them. It's a real shame. What about that uh, woman up in Polk County? What one? Tracy Sergeant. Yeah. Well, I know her, but I mean, my canine officers doubt her dogs can do anything our dogs can't. Don't you think it's worth a try? I mean, it might make Crystal feel that more is being done, if you understand. If you think it'll help, I'll be happy to give her a call. Thank you. Well, the uh, media has arrived. Uh, Chester Gibson. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, it's our pleasure, Mr. Gibson. I just hope you can help. Now, where can we set up? Uh, the, the sheriff has got a place right up here. There? Okay. The command post is right up here. You can get a briefing from Chief Thomas of Fire Rescue and Sheriff Reeves. And I'll see if the family is up to granting an interview as well. Oh, good. I'd like to do that as soon as I can. Of course. Daddy. I'm thinking we ought to head this way. Oh, well, these guys are moving too slow. I think we can do better on our own. Let's go. Currently, we have eight search teams in the field, plus numerous officers on ATVs. In fact, we have so many searchers, the American Red Cross set up an aid station to provide food and water for everyone. Well, it also looks like you have a large number of community volunteers. Is it common that so many people would turn out like this to help look for a missing child? No. No, I've never seen anything like it before in my life. As a professional, I'm concerned about the number of untrained searchers in the field, but as a human being, As a human being, it kind of restores your faith in the goodness of people, if you know what I mean. That's all I'm thinking. <clears throat> yeah, I got it.
not in class. I want you to be studying or socializing with your classmates. I just thought Danny could use a hand today. I can always use the extra money. Don't worry about the money. There'll be plenty of time later to worry about the money, believe me. I just don't want to be a burden on the family. You're not. Sylvia and I are very proud of you, Joe. We want you to enjoy these years. You worked the entire time you was in high school, remember? Thank you. Where are you, Joe? What's that, Daddy? Nothing. Just... Hey, I appreciate you running that charge back to the house, little brother. I gotta get Lucky doesn't like their supervisors to be late. Say, they're not really gonna let you build planes people are up flying, are they? You rascal. Yeah, All right, what you got? Hmm? Hmm? We we got <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Who's the old man now, boy? I'll see you in the morning. All right, see you at home. See ya. Get the car! your little brother, aren't you? Maybe a little. A little. But I was always also thinking about where I'd be if I was a boy, where I'd go. When I was little, I used to play back there, around there where the four farms come together. It was a lifetime ago, though. I hadn't changed that much. Let's go check it out. All right, let's go. Copy. Stand by. Copy that. Standing by. So, the uh, team has found some marks at the edge of a pond in Area 4. The uh, locals call it Grace Lake. That area was searched earlier. They reported nothing. Well, it's possible the previous team made the marks. Or they missed them. I have a dive team ready to go. Team one. It's the first lead we've had all day. Go ahead and deploy them. Better do it while it's still light. Bud. Be discreet. Have them access the pond from the south and use a secure radio channel. If they find out that we're dragging the pond. Sheriff, Chopper needs to return to base to refuel. Soon. Well, my station is giving me clearance for our chopper to assist in the search. Well, there you go, Sheriff. Now you've got another helicopter. Well, I'm gonna need to get a deputy on board to coordinate the search. Bert, you know the area. Now, you want me to cram myself in one of those flying contraptions? It's for a good cause. Yeah, I guess you got a point. I hope that thing's got a boff bag. what you shoot up there. I've been on almost a dozen of these searches and they never have a happy ending. Got it. No close-ups of a two-year-old floating face down on the five o'clock. Yeah, at least no close-ups. Hey, I'm Jack Graves. <clears throat> Sergeant Deputy Burton Smith, Carroll County Sheriff Department. You keep this thing nice and level and you and I get along just fine. Let's recall a couple of teams and get them equipped for night ops. Team two and team five, return to Gold Dust Command. Repeat, return to Gold Dust Command. I don't understand. Why are they recalling the search teams? They haven't even found them yet. Don't worry, it's routine. They'll be redeployed. I am worried. I'm worried to death. I mean, why can't they find him with all these people? 
My little boy is about to be out in the dark without his mama, and... Think you could be in there? When I was a kid, I played in these woods. How could he have gotten past this fence? I mean, this bottom wire's electrified. Why would it even try it? We've been looking in places that have already been searched since we got here. Nobody's looking in there. Yeah, for a reason. <laughs> yeah. Well. Hell, it's worth a try. Well, go spread out while I get in there, okay? Crystal? Mrs. Yeah. Tracy Sargent, or dog Cinco. Thank you for coming. Miss Sargent figures our best shot here is to bring Cinco into where Joe sent is the freshest, maybe his room. That's okay. Of course. Well, good luck. I don't know if Crystal can take much more. Mm. And I feel it will kill her if I tell her what I think I have to. I understand. I asked Sheriff Reeves that if worse comes to worse, if they find Joe, and he's... Mm. that I'd be the one to bring that news to Crystal and Randy. For some reason, I think that that time is coming very soon. I just feel it. to get the pumps and start draining those pits by our pond. But I checked them. So did I. It don't matter. He could have fallen in, got trapped underneath the surface, and never left the trace. Most likely is headed over to our place. And we know he never made it. And those pits are on the way.
Danny! Yeah? Found a coyote's den, but it's abandoned. You okay? Fine. Look, we, we've been at this a while now. What you say we head on back? I don't want you to overdo it in here. Let's just go another 10 feet or so. Okay. Go easy. Sylvia. How easy? I'm waiting to hear from Dr. Poss. All they've told me is that he was in a car crash. Dan said he was running something to the house. I... Oh, a battery charger. I asked him to do it. Mm-hmm. It's not your fault. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Please, Lord, let her Joseph be all right. Be thy will. God bless you. Oh. I'm so sorry, but there was nothing that we could do. He broke his neck when he was thrown free from the car, and he died before they could get him here. It was probably instantaneous. No, no suffering. That's any consolation. No, I didn't. <laughs> Coming for you, Joe. Coming for you, babe. Dog. The black dog, just like the one in the description. I lost it. Hang on. Anything? I came for your dang thing. I'll call in the crowd. Copy, two miles north northwest. Man, the dog is great. Can I tag along when you tell the family? Let's hold off on that front, all right? And the dog's gonna stick with the boy, whether he's alive or dead. Let us find out which it is first. I've got something. Got movement in the tree line, uh, directly north of our position. Copy that. Horrible. Thanks. We should go ahead and recall everybody. Give them a chance to get back here before dark. You know, we just lost our best chance of finding that boy. I know that, Tony. Once we're into nine ops, it goes from finding a needle in a haystack to finding a needle in a stack of needles.
at it. We should head back before it gets too dark in here. Okay. Stay where you are. I'll come to you. Hey, Joe. I bet you like tractors, don't you? Would you like to go ride one? Would you like to go see your mommy? Come on, come on. <laughs> oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you. <laughs> Carry him out of here. Boy. Yeah. Yeah. That's where we're going. Oh my gosh. Y'all find out? Tell me what's going on. We found him. He's alive. <laughs>
for watching over our boy today, and, and, and for Ed Walker and his son, uh, Terry. Look out! What was that, young man? You said something about moo cows? He was moo cows. He was uh, trying to shoot the moo cows. That's how he got lost. She's a really good dog. She stayed with him the whole day. I guess we can't take her to the pound now, huh? Oh, I think it's over here. Look out. Look out. It's oh. just for you. All right! Oh. Oh. Bye, go. Thank you for finding my brother. You're welcome. You're welcome, buddy. Both of you. believe he's back. I was convinced we lost him. That I lost him. There's something I want to tell you, but I want to tell him too. Okay. Are you pray with me? Of course. Dear Lord, thank you for returning Joe to us. And for giving me a second chance to be a better father and a husband. Lord, I feel like you grabbed me and slapped me and showed me what's important in life. And I promise from now on to put you and my family first in my heart and actions. And to find a way to somehow give back to all those who helped us today. I'm so overwhelmed by your love and so grateful to you. Thank you for giving me a chance to see all that. For giving me such a wonderful family and wife. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I love you. I love you. 
Man. I could use a vacation. <laughs> you still want to go? Yeah, are you? Yes. I suppose we ought to get a good night's sleep first. Oh, I don't know about you, but I couldn't sleep right now if I tried. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the van is still packed. Oh. Hey, I'm sorry, Cleo. You can't come with us, girl. You're gonna have to stay here. Mama and Papa, I'll take real good care of you.
fear creeping in so fast You never thought you'd end up here But no point in looking back 